In my first role at CCH as a sales rep, I wasn't very ambitious. I was young, I just had a baby, and balancing work, life, and family was really tough. I was also having a tough time learning how to balance my natural empathy and um, hard decision making. I saw that my manager really had trust in me because I take ownership. I get the job done, no matter the barriers. But it still came as a surprise when I was offered the role of a sales manager. I felt um, I have to prove myself even more. And this was when I started feeling the hunger to be even more ambitious. So the first thing I had were all men. Some were older, some were even more experienced than I was. And my first thought was, how do I manage them? My natural impulse, first of all, was to nurture them, not to be too tough. And then, like that, they get to know I have their backs. But I thought, if I do this, how do I end their respect? With one of my team who had great customer relationship, and also he collaborates easily. But his planning and prioritization skills and result drive was very low. Fortunately, I had a great all-rounder in the team and I encouraged them to spend time together, go out together, and he served as a peer mentor to him. All this helped us work together better and we were the most successful sales team for two years in a row. That wasn't bad for a first-time manager. The results were great for me personally um, because it was totally my idea and um, it made me believe more in myself and also to trust my intuitions. One manager I used to mentor, she is um, all red energy, bold, competitive, very result driven. But building engagement within her team wasn't a priority for her. I said to her, if you want to get even better results from your team, then let them know you really and sincerely care about them. Reach out to them, ask about their life at home, their hopes, their dreams, and their fears. And within just six months, her team was hitting the highest engagement scores. And she said, I didn't know it was so easy. But do you know why she found it so easy? She already had that skill in her, but she was suppressing it. She was trying to be a strong leader and get results the way her managers had been. Be proud of your natural skills, but work on their opposites too. Are you analytical? Practice empathy. If you're reactive, step up. Get in first. Find a partner, swap skills.